part of the intern program here at National Instruments, one of the main things you get to do is create a MyRio or MyDeck project. I decided to use the NI MyRio along with LabVIEW to create my flight data recorder. This utilizes not only the serial input to the MyRio, but also the onboard accelerometer. As well as the MyRio itself, we've also got a Globesat GPS receiver that's feeding serial data into the MyRio and a 12 volt DC power supply that's rechargeable. And for audio, we've got an iPod just plugged into the audio input of the MyRio. We utilize the MyRio's onboard FPGA processor, real time operating system, and onboard memory storage to be able to get full functionality. We're also making use of the serial functionality in the MyRio. This is where the NMEA data is passed from the Globesat GPS receiver. To be able to connect the receiver up to the MyRio, just doing a little bit of custom wiring at the GPS end to be able to interface the actual socket with uh, suitable wiring to the MyRio. As mentioned previously, we're also using the MyRio's audio input and utilizing that as an FPGA input in itself. So let's have a look at some of the code deployed to the MyRio. Beginning with the FPGA code, which is used to get the accelerometer and audio data. And now the real-time code, which is used to log data to TDMS and pass the GPS data from the serial connections. So here's the front panel of my flight data recorder. At the top, we've got four main displays, displaying the accelerometer data, audio data incoming, speed above ground, and also altitude. We've also got the current latitude and longitude that is pulled from the NMEA data on the GPS receiver. We've also got a ActiveX controlled map that we pull a static image from Google Maps, and we had the functionality to be able to select whether you want a road map data, satellite data, hybrid, or terrain. We've also got a neat zoom functionality as well. That means that you can go as far in or as far out as you want. We can see here, we can see the area of Newbury on a hybrid map. And as well, what we can see is a, a blue balloon highlighting where we are, dependent on the latitude and longitude that's poured in by the GPS receiver. And as you can see, we're here at the NI UK headquarters, and we should be able to zoom out a little bit and get a better picture of the surrounding area. Now, this is user dependent. The user can decide how far in and out they want to zoom. Now, if we start to just move the MyRio, what we can see is the accelerometer data um, incoming is constantly changing, as you can see in the top right, I'm moving the, the, the MyRio in all directions, while still we've got constantly the, the audio data inputting next to it. And if we give the MyRio a little bit of a thud, what we see is a dialog box that informs the user of a unrecoverable crash, as well as the last known location. And when the user presses the OK button, it directs them to a online Google Maps plot with the last known location appearing as a red balloon, again, dependent on the last known coordinates poured in by the GPS data. While we've been looking at the data on the front panel and storing it to onboard memory, we've also been utilizing a custom LabVIEW API to be able to write the data and plot uh, the same information on a Google Earth plot. And as we can see, we can see the pins all clustered in one area. Now, we've been writing all this data to onboard memory, and as well, we've been writing in the TDMS format. Now, in DRM, what we can see is the XYZ plots, and we can actually place them onto a graph and visualize those. Now, this is data over time. We're doing a short test here but that gets the point across of uh, we have data and we've got it all there. We've also been doing the same with the audio data. We've got the left and right channels of the audio, and we can see the left there and just overlay the right very crudely, but what we can do with that is we can then output that as a waveform to recover any recorded audio as you would in a traditional flight data recorder. Hopefully this has inspired you to go away and create your own flight data recorder with the MyRio. In the description below, you'll find a link to the NI community page where you'll find all the source code and files and a little bit more explanation about the project.